right. How does it feel when you have a cold? It feels terrible, doesn't it? When you've got a cold, sometimes you cough, your eyes get all watery, you can get the chills, or even a slight fever. A lot of times your throat hurts, and your nose gets all runny or stuffed up. And... Sometimes you sneeze a lot. That's how it feels, all right. But how do you catch a cold in the first place? People used to think you can catch a cold just from being out in the rain. Or snow. Or from being in a drought or from working or exercising so much that you get overtired. But the truth is, colds are caused by germs. What are germs? Turn the page. Gee, I've never seen one of these. Well, germs are also called microorganisms. And they're so tiny, you can only see them by looking through a super powerful electron microscope. There are all kinds of germs that live in your body all the time. Some of them are actually good for you. But some germs can make you sick. The tiny germs that cause colds and other illnesses are called viruses. Is that what I have? A virus? Uh-huh. Viruses grow where it's warm and wet, like in your throat, <coughs> and your nose, <coughs> and your lungs. <coughs> yup, my friend, you caught yourself a cold virus. But where did this cold virus come from? Well, you catch viruses from other people, like your friends and family. cold last week. You think I caught my cold virus from him? Hmm, could be. See, when you cough or sneeze, the virus gets on your hands. Then everything you touch gets the virus on it. And then other people get it on them, too. Yeah, I touched a lot of stuff my little brother touched. Uh-huh. And then you probably put your hands near your eyes or touched your nose or mouth, just like now. <coughs> exactly. The cold virus found a new place to live. Speaking of sneezing, you might get some cold viruses through the air, too, when somebody sneezes or coughs in your direction. It's also possible to get a virus from sharing a drink with someone who has a cold. I sure don't want anyone else to catch my cold. Well, then you have to be careful. <coughs> That's right. Be sure to cover your mouth when you cough. And when you sneeze or blow your nose, use tissues that you throw away in a covered container. Now remember, don't blow your nose too hard. This is the right way to do it. Keep your nose and mouth open while you blow gently. Otherwise, you might force the germs into your ears and cause an infection in the air. Now, all this sneezing and coughing and nose blowing is getting germs all over your hands. So it's important when you're sick to wash your hands often with soap and warm water. And while you're at it, wash those glasses and eating utensils too. And for heaven's sake, don't share them with anybody. As you can see, it's easy to give your cold to others. And it's hard not to pass on your cold in a crowded place. So when you're sick, you might need to stay home. Besides, you probably feel like resting to give your body a chance to get better. Yeah, I've been taking it easy. Mom brought me some soup to drink. Will that help me get better? Soup isn't a cure, but it'll make you feel better. In fact, hot liquids like soup can help to clear up your stuffy nose and throat. But 
can't I just take some medicine to help my cold go away? There are medicines that may make you feel better, but they can't cure your cold. And remember, never take medicine unless your parents or another adult, like a school nurse, gives it to you. Mainly, you just have to wait for your body to fight off the virus. Sometimes it takes a week or even longer. How does my body fight off a cold? Well, imagine that there are two tiny teams in your blood. The good team, which is your immune system, protects you from the bad team. The bad team's the cold virus, right? Right. They try to get into your nose, your mouth, your eyes, or even a cut. Most of the time, your immune system can fight off the advancing team. But sometimes, the viruses move in and they score. All the symptoms of a cold, the sneezing, the runny nose and the coughing, the chills and fever, all are a part of your body's way of trying to get rid of the virus. Keeping your immune system strong so it can fight off diseases is always a good idea. How do you keep your immune system strong? By eating balanced meals. And getting plenty of rest. And exercising a lot. But remember, even healthy people get a cold once in a while. Jeff, did I hear you talking to someone? Uh, uh... Do you need anything? Yeah. Do we have any more tissues? Uh-huh, they're in the bathroom. Thanks. I'll get some in a minute. And while I'm in there, I'd better wash my hands, too. That's a good idea. You know when you have a cold, germs get all over your hands and then on the things you touch. And I sure don't want you or Dad getting my cold virus. That's very thoughtful, Jeff. You certainly know a lot about colds. Oh. I see. Thanks for telling me all about colds, Goofy. My pleasure. Now that I know so much, I'm sure gonna try not to pass this cold on to anyone else. Uh-oh. Sorry, Goofy. <laughs>